soft. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Okay, Pizza Hut. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What's going on, my sexy pieces? This your main man, Dame Drops, because you guys asked for this whole entire Pizza Hut stuffed cheese it pizza. I'm going to review it because I told y'all already. I ain't coming back to Pizza Hut for nah. For nah. At all. At all. After they dropped the ball. Same way I'm treating Subway. But you guys kept asking for it, so I give you what you ask for. But what we have to find out is if it's really a stuffed cheese it so the only way I'm going to figure this out is I'm going to go pick up a box of Cheez-Its, get some ghetto stuffed cheese, put it up off into the Cheez-It, hit that, and then hit this Pizza Hut pizza to see how close we get, even to see if it's good, or to see if we drop the ball by even recommending for me to come up off into Pizza Hut. I told y'all I was going to leave them alone, but let's find out. Yeah. Even though I said I ain't never ever gonna do another Pizza Hut food review again, you guys have been asking for it hellaciously, B, on all my social media vacation. So, here I am at Pizza Hut about to do this stuffed cheese it jump. I swear, I swear it better be hitting, yo. Cause y'all know what happens if it ain't wired. Let's go. Just so you guys know, two bottles of water, 398. One cheese it cheese, 649, and one cheese it pepperoni, 649. Subtotal $16.96 with that $1.08 Connecticut tax. Balance came to $18.04. Let's go. Now we definitely have the all cheese and we have the pepperoni version. In comparison to a regular cheese, it what do you guys think? I mean, not for nothing. If this cheese it actually had mozzarella, you'd have that white center. And so we're not too far off. A regular cheese it. Pizza Hut cheese it. Look at that blend right there. More little cheese it's on the side. Baby cheese it's and Pizza Hut cheese it's. Little bit of that marinara ra, 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 ra sauce. But what we're gonna do first, I wanna make a little ghetto stuffed cheese cheese it. So I'm gonna go ahead and mess around, put some of the spray cheese up in here. Y'all remember the spray cheese from the Bisco? Oh, oh, spray cheese. Get on there, spray cheese. This is a Nabisco party. Nabisco, ooh. All right, and then apparently, since that spray cheese is so thug, it shot my other cheese it across the map. The way I was shooting cats across the map on Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. Let me just go ahead and um, put that right there. And here it is, y'all. Here it is. Okay, a little miniature stuffed cheese it for real, for real, with Nabisco cheese. All right, so let's give this a try first and then get into the actual Pizza Hut version. Because at the end of the day, who doesn't love a cheese it Oh. Oh, that's cheesy, cheesy, squeeze me, please me. Mmm, salty, crunchy, crispy, cheesy. Five all day on the play. Now, let's get right into this Pizza Hut joint. Hone in on that, hone in on that cheese it action. Look, y'all, we're gonna bust this up right in the middle. Soft. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Okay, Pizza Hut. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I love the Jungle Gym pull Pizza Hut. I like that. that that's, why I was eating. that's how you know it's fresh, it's hot, and I didn't do too much talking before the video. Now let's get busy. Do not expect that exterior to be a real crispy exterior. It's not. It's soft. It's wild soft, filled with mozzarella on the interior. Dame, is it cheesy at the end of the day? Like, what we got from the cheesy bite was wild cheese flavoring. What I'm getting from the Pizza Hut stuffed cheese it. It's lightly there. I'm gonna say it's not there, 
it's actually lightly there. Like you can actually get a little cheese it cheese flavoring. Mm-hmm. Heavy on the mods game, heavy on the mods game. It's not amazing. I'll never ever say that. Definitely not amazing, but Pizza Hut, you might actually make me come back for your next item off of this one alone. This is definitely a three-piece. This is this is coasting. It's cruising right down the middle lane. Mm. Let me dip it in the marinara. Let me see if the marinara helps it out any, or does it leave it as a three-piece? When I dip, you dip, we dip, you put your hand up on my head. Let me dip a regular cheese in now. Yeah. Oh my goodness, the regular cheese is so much better. Um, But hold on, I'm not done with you. I'm not done with you, Pizza Hut. Because not only did I get your cheese version, which is okay, it's three. Straight across the board, it's a three. With the marinara, it's still a three. It didn't really do much too much for it. They're making a three and a half. But let's see what your pepperoni version do. And I'm gonna give a quick shout out to homegirl inside the spot making it hot. She actually put cheese and pepperoni on both boxes to let me know which one was which. So that's great customer service right off the top. I appreciate you, mama. In case you were wondering, you're gonna get four of the stuffed Cheez-Its with a marinara sauce, all right? And like, again, even from a distance, it looks like an oversized Cheez-It, right? So they definitely got the look down, they definitely got the middle dimple down, they have the mozz cheese in there, but let's see what this pepperoni do. Let me hit you solo dolo. You look toasted up too, you looking like, they got that Pop-Tart toast on the end on this one. They left that one in there a little bit longer, look at that. That one got that, it look, it look, don't look like a pop, if I just hold it like this. A little dark skin Pop-Tart, you know, okay. Might be pumpkin Pop-Tart, you know, that's what it looks like from this angle. Let's see what that bite do. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Smart. Pizza Hut, very smart on your part to put in mad diced up pepperoni. So people are getting pepperoni every bite versus the circular pepperoni. And that diced up pepperoni adds additional flavor and I'm liking it a little bit better with the pepperoni versus just with the cheese alone. And this is all right. And if you look again, if you look at that exterior layer right there, it has that flaky layer just like a cheese it I know where I'm going with your pepperoni, B. But let me dip up off in here, break me off one time proper. I already know where I'm going with the pepperoni, John. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is a strong four knocking at the front door. Oh. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I got both. Aquafina. Aquafina, come here, boo-boo. I was trying to get my Badlands chugs on her. I can't do it. Although he and I are gonna be getting together this week to film some more fire for you guys for Clash of the Food Titans. You know what I mean? You know how we move. For the past few reviews, I've been beating you upside the head because you guys have been dropping straight trash. I ain't gonna stump. I won't stop. I was even nervous about reviewing this. That's why it took me so long. I wasn't gonna review it at all. Honestly, I really wasn't. So you have the foodie fam to even thank for me doing this review because they kept beating up my social media game, something proper, talking about, damn, where's the cheesy? Where's the stuff cheesy? Where's the stuff cheesy? Where's the stuff cheesy? So I, this is, I'm doing this for them. However, I dropped the ball. I, I should have listened to my foodie fam a week ago when they first started asking. Because your pepperoni, ver your cheese version is... <laughs> but your pepperoni version, your pepperoni version hitting, bro. Your pepperoni version is like a welcome map at the front door. It's like a light knock, a light knock at the front door. 
and open it. Hello? How can I help you? It's me. Hello? Is it the cheese that you're looking for? I can see it in the box. And you can see it on my smile. You're all I ever wanted. Just go ahead, open wide. Tell me how to win your heart. Cause I haven't got a clue. My stuffed cheese it. I like you.